All right, YouTube, I'm back with another FBD slurping machine. Frozen beverage, or however you want to put it. FBD stands for frozen beverage. We got a FBD 773, as you see, barrel one is off. Barrel two is out of syrup, and barrel three is also half full. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna check the bricks in the two barrels that has product in it and make sure it's right. All right, to check the bricks, we just pour a little bit from the barrel into a cup, and then we get your refractometer, and we'll put some on there and see what the percentage is. See if this is good. It needs to be between 13 and a half to 15. We we'll see what it is. If it is good, we'll fill it. Same thing with barrel three. And we'll see if we can get those barrels work working. All right, check the percentage of the mix with a refractometer. Both barrels were at 14. So we're gonna fill them up and then check them out, see if they freeze down. This middle barrel is out of product, so we'll be changing that product out to get it full and get it on. And then we'll see what the temperatures are and whether or not we need to gauge up on this. It's a new machine. Uh, right now, do not think there's any leaks in it, but we did have a compressor run too long. Error, as you can see. So we need to investigate that. All right, I got the bottom open so you can see. On these, all the solution modules are at the bottom. This is barrel one, barrel two, and barrel three. This port in the front, that's where you get your sample with these, put a tube on here, open that up. If you need to change the module, there's cutoffs in the back where you can cut it off and get this out without spraying syrup all over the place. So we're dealing with this barrel, this barrel, and then we'll fill this barrel and see what it is. To fill these, you go in the menu, hit refill barrel, and it's not empty, it's not froze, and it'll start filling. You go about halfway up on the vent plug, and then you stop there. And as it builds up pressure, you might have to vent some of the pressure off. You just take a cup, pull the vent, let some of the pressure off. Until you get it. All right, I got a little bit too much in there. So we're gonna back, empty it back out just a little bit. Oops. Until we're about halfway up on the vent plug. All right, where I got it at right now is about where you want it. And we'll do this side, which is wild cherry. And then you just, if you wanna freeze the barrel down, say yes. We'll go ahead and let that one start freezing. Oh, came out syrup out. So let's go check the product. Okay. Barrel one, it went into freeze. After I got the syrup flow back, it's, the bib is about empty, but the compressor contactor is not pulling in. It does have a high pressure switch over here on the side. So we're gonna get this open and check that switch. Okay, I got the side panel off. And there's our compressor. There's our high pressure switch right here. But before we reset that or see if it is resetting, let's give it a quick look over. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. So let's see if that switch is tripped. And it was. So we're gonna let that run and we'll check the pressures 
And we can do that right on the display screen. I'll go in here, run into, no, we don't want to do flavor change. And it shut back off. Uh, we got something going on with the pressure. Oh, let's set that trip back right back out again. readouts low and high pressure and this is 448 in this machine Thank you, ma uh, you have a good one. let's check it out wait for it to see if it calling again went on to call again and we'll see what that pressure is okay it's running our pressure right now is reading 188 this has a remote condensing unit, which is on the roof. But right now, the head pressure is nowhere near where it should have tripped off on the head pressure. So we'll continue to monitor that and see what's going on. All right, as we let this run, the head pressure is shot up to 285, 287. We might have to see if we can get up on the roof and check that condensing unit. We and make sure the, the condenser fan's coming on. Yeah, we just did it. Okay. Got the ladder stood up. Right here. And we're gonna go up, get to that condenser unit, and see why that condenser fan ain't coming on. So come on. Okay, up on the roof. The FBD machines are on the flex pack, and this is the flex pack. The FBD machines are on this rear section here with some little condenser fan. All it is just a condenser fan and that's receivers behind the panel. That fan has to be on. What I found was the fan was actually turning off when the other systems turned off and we'll go around there to that right here there's three compressors you got the cooler ice merchandiser and freezer all in here and you got your contacts for each one when the cooler or ice merchandiser takes turn off the rear fan shut off even though the FBD machines are running so what I did was you can see the relays are not powered it's been changed so I isolated just the condensing unit fan for the FBD machines and whoa, wired it so that the fan ran with the unit when the other one shut off that will continue to run so that the FBD machines wouldn't trip off on head pressure. All right, we got barrels one and three to freeze down. Not that we got the condenser fan motor to stay on. Barrel two, they wanted a flavor change, so I got it prepped. I'll take you to the back. Here's the bib right. We changed it to this flavor. never seen a bib rack that's what it looks like so now all we have to do is bricks it and fill the barrel and get it to freeze down all right uh, to check the bricks or the mix take a tube which they stay usually down here put this on there and take a container and you're gonna pour some in there by uh, turning the valve there on the front and somebody set this way you can see it
Okay. I hold this and I'm gonna pour some, open that up, pour some in there. Once you get some in there, take the refractometer again and check it. Again, it should be 13 and a half to 15 for a good freeze. And we're at 14. I don't know if you can see that, but look through there and you can see it. So we're good, so we can fill the barrel which finish filling it which is what we're going to do now and to fill it you go to your barrel hit refill barrel it's empty we're going to say no it's got part of it it's not froze and we'll let it fill and we'll have to bleed some of the pressure off as it fills again you're going to go halfway up to the vent plug Okay, we got it halfway up on the vent plug. Then it's going to ask if you want to freeze it down. Say yes, and it will start the freeze process. And we should have a Slurpee hopefully within seven minutes. All right, barrel froze down. The machine is in ready. All three are good. So we're going to dispense some out here and we have a slurpee huh? all right so now get this closed up and she's ready to go there you go Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.